And now, in studio, bringing his Midwest values from the show me state to the land of San Diego. He's a triple threat, licensed as an attorney, mortgage broker, and a top producing realtor who's crushing the competition. Here to deliver you what's happening in the trenches of the market, your host, Michael Gaddis. Welcome back to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of michaelgaddis.com and frontierloangroup.com. And on the phone is my very special guest, Char Margolis, who is an internationally renowned intuitive medium. Now, before I get started with, uh, talking to her again, I just wanted to mention that she has a couple upcoming events. On November 4th at the Seaside Center for Spiritual Living, she has a group reading. And on November 5th, she has an intuition workshop. Shar, what, what's going on in those, and what can people expect if they, if they go to those events? Well, uh, the, the first event on the 4th is a group reading where I'm going to read it for as many people in the audience as I possibly can. And it, it, the ticket price is only $25. So it's, um, I, I want to um, help as many people as I can connect them to their loved ones in the spirit world or help them prevent problems and attain goals in their lives. And I, I'm able to do that, fortunately, and I love doing that. I love reading for people. And then the next day is an intuition work workshop, which I don't know how people wouldn't want to take it because we all have gut feelings that get us, you know, out of danger and that help us attain goals. And, and, and so my method really works and I am excited to teach the people at Seaside to do this on, on the um, fifth. So if someone's interested in these events, they, so if they are interested in these events, they can go to char.net. Is that correct? That's C-H-A-R.net. Yeah. C-H-A-R dot N-E-T. And, um, I'd love for you guys to come out and, if, you know, if I feel that people who resonate with my energy end up signing up. Wow. And it's always an honor and a privilege and a pleasure when, because the people that I, that I, that I connect with, we just usually connect in a really good way of goodness and, and healing. And it's, it's, it's so special. So there are you know, two I, there are two opportunities to see you coming up. The no, November fourth again is the group reading, yeah. and then November fifth is the intuition workshop. Those are the two main right. events that you have coming up. November fourth and fifth. Now I'm feeling something. Can I ask you something? Sure. I think I'm feeling something around you. Don't say any names and just say yes or no. Okay. Okay. And I, I I don't always know if I'm getting a spirit identifying themselves or if they're telling me about somebody living, but I'm getting an M. Or an A initial. Did you have family that's an A or an M? Yes. Deceased? Yes. Is that an A or an M? An M. Is it spelled M A M or M I? M I. Like Michael? Is there another Michael? Yes. Is that your dad? No, it's my grandfather. Your grandfather. Okay. I was hearing father. So it's grandfather. I feel like your grandfather's around you. Wow. And I feel like, do you, do you have, I don't know what he's showing me. He's showing me around something. I don't know if it's a keychain or a watch or, hmm. or I don't know what, he, what he's showing me, but I feel like he's around you and I feel like he, um, he visits you. Do you, do you know when he visits you? Do you feel him? No, not, not, not really. No. That's okay. And um, are you considering uh, opening a new door with business, like a a new extra door of creative stuff or a new extra door with your work? In a way, yes, I am actually. Yeah, I feel an expansion for you, and I feel like it's a lot of work and that you have to figure out how to market it. Hmm. I don't know that you know how to market it yet. Are you trying to figure that out? I actually am. Yes, that is that is actually one hundred percent true. Yeah, and I and he, he's showing me that it's like 
with time and patience and hard work, you're a very hard worker and you're very honest, you're very pure, you're very pure energy, that it will all come back around to you. And also, are you doing anything with um, digital web series or digital something? Digital. I do a lot of online stuff. Yeah, there's something more about this as well. And hmm. and um and I I don't know if you ever do seminars or groups. I do. But there's some. Do you ever do anything where you help people with money or investments? I do. I do a lot with reverse mortgages, and I have reverse mortgage workshops. Yeah, I was going to say your real estate. Yes. Yeah, I feel like there's more for the more around this. And are you blogging about this? I feel like you I need do. more people. To- Okay, I feel like more people need to hear about this. I feel like there's more opportunity with this. And they're also showing me an S or C person. S or C? Hmm. A female. Who's is, do you, S or C. Does that make sense? It could be someone living. Hmm. There are a few people S and C. Yeah. Is there is there an S female? There's somebody who... I know somebody who recently passed away who begins with an S. Is it a female? Yes. Is it S with an N in her name or an R? No, she doesn't have an N or an R. It's it's not a Sue though. Well, her her name is pronounced Sha. So Sha. Yeah. Okay. She, it might it might be her. And the other thing they're showing me is a J or G person. A J. J. Or G person. I don't know, but you did say that there was a man earlier, the J, or are you working with somebody that's a J or G? Yeah, yeah, I do have somebody working with a J. Is that a male? A male. A J with an, is it J-O? No, J-A. Or J, like James or Jack or? James. J, James? Yeah. I, and are you working with him on your uh, it, a business stuff? Kind of, yes. Ancillary, yes. Yes, we do communicate quite a bit. Yeah, there's, I feel like, but I feel like you need to do things on your own because when you expand on your own, you do well. And I feel like you're supposed to be writing, a, I don't know if you're writing a pamphlet now or writing a... No, I actually I actually am. That is that is true. I'm in the middle of writing something right yeah. now. Yeah. and That's, that's is, strange, Char. I don't know how you picked up on that, but that is true. <laughs> This is all really good for you, and you just need to have confidence with it. But the marketing, you have to find the niche. You haven't found it completely yet. Right. But you have to find the niche. Wow. And um, and it's all and and it's all good for you. And and you're also going to be involved with real estate in time. Oh, I like it. I don't know. Maybe you're not doing that now, but somehow you're going to do that. And anyway, I, what happens is when I read and I teach mm-hmm. people to do this, I, when I do my workshops and I do retreats in Palm Springs, I literally have people reading by the time they leave my retreats. I mean, I literally like they flip me out. Like what I just did for you, I teach them and they like flip me out. Wow. Really. Wow. Wow. So, well- yeah, that it's so kind of you to allow me to read for you. Thank you so much. No, well, thank you for that. That's that's interesting. And 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 for those of you who know me, you know that uh, some of the points she hit on are exactly one hundred percent correct. Exactly what's going well, on. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about you. I didn't even know your name until before I picked up the phone to to talk to you. So I don't know if it's public knowledge, any of this stuff. But probably not your grandfather. No, no, no. Nobody knows that. Well, let me ask you another question, because there's something when I was growing up, I know because it relates somewhat to mediums, is Ouija boards. Do you know much about Ouija boards? Yeah, I can tell you right now, they're dangerous, they're real, and they're like a welcome mat for evil spirits. Yeah. and that the answer? <laughs> no, that, no, I, and, and it's, you know, I, I remember when I was in college, I was in undergraduate school, people would always whip out the Ouija board and want me to play, and I would never do it. And, you know, for lots of reasons, but it was just, it just, it's one of those things where, you know, when you play with the unknown, you know, or it, it just, it's, you're just, I don't know. I just think it's, you're opening, you're potentially opening a door to something that you're not prepared to, to, to have something walk through. And, and, you know, exactly. but people do it a lot. They play it as a game. They think it's something, a novel yeah. thing. And, and it, so your opinion is it's dangerous. 
It's a ploy. It's a ploy to get to for evil spirits to work with people because what it'll do is it'll bring kids around and it'll tell a kid five really real things like the name of your teacher. It'll spell out your dead grandmother, whatever. And then it'll say, go build a bomb and blow up your school because it, there's trickster energies. It's low level energy that comes on those. And that's the thing of, you know, when I do my work, I'm, I make sure we only have the most positive of goodness, love and God and the positive guidance that we all need. And, and I don't trust most psychics because they, they, sometimes their egos get in the way and they go, Oh, I got the name of his grandfather. Ha ha ha. Mm -hmm. But, but, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a performance. It's not a show. It's, it, we're conduits to communicate with the other side. But the problem when those egos get in the way, ego means edging God out, lower level crap can come in. Mm. And food, because the devil was a fallen angel. The devil learned everything about good and turned it to bad. So, but, you know, I always say prayer is important. It, this is not a religion what I do, but when you pray and positive energy attracts positive thoughts, bring positive results and negative, unfortunately does brings negative results. When you stay positive and you stay in, in the white light and God's light and goodness, you will always be protected. And the people that I see really who fall into harder times don't have faith. Mm. And I think faith is so important and it doesn't matter what religion you are. You can be, you know, the Christian, Jewish, Catholic, Muslim, it doesn't matter as long as you keep a positive light of goodness around you. And, um, and it sounds to me like you've always had a natural intuitive feeling about what's right and wrong and what's good and bad. Yeah, I think I have, I, you know, I have those feelings. <laughs> But yeah, I want to thank you, Char, for coming on my show today. Paul's over there waving at me. But okay, I want to okay, remind Paul. everybody, I want to remind everybody that if you want to see Char Margolis in person, you can do it this November 4th at the Seaside Center for Spiritual Living. She's giving a group reading that day from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or you can go to her intuition workshop on November 5th, also at the Seaside Center for Spiritual Living, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So, Char Margolis, yep. thank you so much for coming thank on my show me. today. Oh, my God. Michael, you're a doll. I hope that we can do this again. And they can go to char.net, C-H-A-R dot N-E-T, because that's where they can get their tickets. All right. Well, thank you so much, Char. Thank you. Okay, After, you're lovely. Thank you. Well. After the break, we're going to dive back into my normal protocol and talk a little bit about reverse mortgages. You're listening to The Michael Gatta Show on AM 1170, The Answer.